when I began to teach people. In my childhood and youth, and even as I grew older, I lived without ever having laughed properly. Why man had to die after living this way was a perpetual riddle in my mind. In those days, my mind held sighs and regrets. It was my assignment of assignments to figure out where man comes from, why he lives, and where he goes. As we grew older, my friends began to live lives that revolved more and more around the events of each day. But I cared more for others than myself. As time went on, everyone I knew became busier and busier, chased by the circumstances of their daily lives, because they lived trying to protect themselves inside their self-centered lives. On the other hand, I wished for other success, because I doubted if there was any meaning or significance in a life where only I lived well. While many people were living only for their own sake, I sacrificed my personal life and tried in my own way to live for others. I sometimes wondered why in a world where everyone was created together, only some people became saints, while I remained an ordinary person. The past saints were chosen by heaven to prophesy the coming of a real saint at a certain time in the world. All scriptures are indeed stories of truth, but furthermore, they speak of a time when man will become complete. They speak of the age of human completion. Only when a complete person comes to the world can man become complete. Completion is the universe itself, and a complete person is he who comes to the world as such. Man believes he lives by his own will, but only after he has matured will he know he lives not by his own will, but by the will of the world. He will also know the ways of the world afterwards when he has matured, and he will become one with the world. The world just existed, but during the time of immaturity, I too lived like a vagabond, endlessly rushed and busy, rushing here and there, but without actually achieving anything, like a rat inside a well. It makes me dizzy to think of that time, when I nearly ended up dying, and now it seems like a dream. Although in the human world there is nothing great about me or anything I did, I have shed light on the ways of the world which was a constant enigma. So I have, in a way, achieved my will. Although people may all look the same, a person who has truth in him, a person who has become complete, is not human, but God. Although I did not even dream of it, I am teaching man how to become complete. The method for man to become complete is to discard one's false body and mind and be reborn with the real body and mind. It seems this method is popular. For over years, many people have become free and liberated, and they found truth and the land of truth within them. So I feel that I've done my work in the world.